Good morning. Welcome back to another episode. We are cold and excited to be here this morning. We're in Oklahoma with Blue Stem Outfitters. Um, we're excited because it is our first time to hunt Lesser Canada's inside the spread this year. Um, we've got clear skies, a little bit of little bit of wind. Hold on. Um, I just started already. Uh, but yeah, we're uh, we're excited to be out here and. Um, we're gonna go <laughs> so anyways we'll go talk to one of these guys and see what they got for uh, details on how we're hiding and everything but here we are and uh... <laughs> what's up guys I'm Braden Davenport with Blueston Waterfowl this morning we're hunting Western Canada geese we've got about oh 3,000 hitting this corn to wheat field. They're in, been in here hot for about the last day and a half. Geese finally rolling into town. It's kind of been a slow year, but we got the weather up north that we needed to go ahead and have them cross that state line. It should be a good morning as long as wind stays up. We're running about, oh, I think we're gonna be running right out about 90 dozen dive bombs. We're sitting underneath the tall socks and throwing short socks and silhouettes all the way around us and we're gonna see what happens. The dive bomb sticker, here. Merry Christmas. So we had a kid that put all, the, all our dive bombs together. <laughs> he took all the stickers to school. <laughs> sold them. Sold them for a dollar fifty a right? pop. <laughs> Made 80 bucks on Monday morning. <laughs> What's up guys? First time back in the States since uh, getting back from Scotland. Pretty pumped up. Death from below. Inside the spread. Lessers. Got Cade on the camera today. I told him he needs to bring some more energy. I, I told him I think he's kind of lost his lost his touch a little bit. So you guys have to let him know in the comments. He needs to get a couple get himself going yeah we need to get him in the ghillie suit get him fired up but uh we're pumped man we got the guys from magpul here and uh maybe we'll get a quick bit from them i don't i don't know if they've ever done anything like this guy was talking about hog hunting last night um so i don't know how much waterfowl stuff they've done but we're excited to have them here and i know they'll get get some awesome media from it but uh we're pumped like dude your first waterfowl hunt are you excited? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I didn't know what an operation this was, man. There's what, a thousand decoys out here? <laughs> Alright guys, we just got set up. We just had the first, first group of birds fly over. Everybody's getting tucked in. Yeah. About to get after. Him. <laughs> oh, nice shot! Good shot! Nice shot! The other day we needed bags. <laughs> Bad start, huh? Yeah, That'll work. If they do all they got, they're gonna be in some trouble. That's right. Trouble. Trouble.
Yeah. Hey, we'll let the white bird get out. Uh -oh. And the great thing about these dive bomb decoys is that they make the geese think that all these fake geese are real. <laughs> Six, huh? Some Dude, I had that sucker. But <laughs> 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 Do what? Yeah, 
Well, it's going how it's planned, that's for sure. Oh yeah, Fast and Fury, Furious right now. Birds are kind of trickling back and forth from water. The big groups haven't even showed, so the sun's up. Timing's right. As long as they do it like they have been, we're about to pound them. There's, there's a pile of birds in that water. I'm getting them out with the birds doing that water. That's bangs. Oh, yeah. That's a different bird than the roost, though. He's crossed with the tiger. DC, I wonder what that roost is. Lines for days coming out like that way. They're coming this way. Let's get situated, boys. It's so early. It's This one right here had a white bar. Yeah, 45. 45. 45. How many can we shoot? A lot more. <laughs> it's only 740. Some of the roosts haven't gotten up yet, so. Hey, should get good. He just destroyed that <laughs> decoy. Not That's a bat out of hell right there. <laughs> Just had PTSD when that bird started falling. I thought it was coming for me again. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Pulled the uh, side last night. Right on his two. Five, six. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> First pass, come on. Third pass. First pass. <laughs> Definitely over 100 geese, damn near close. It's probably been about an hour and 15 minutes. November, that's what it's all about in Oklahoma. Hey. What if it was like a 180 just running across? Hilarious. I don't even think you're up one that, I just don't think they no. The thing about these Lesser Canada geese is, can tell they're lesser Canada geese by the way they are. <laughs> Science. <laughs> the 
picture. Yeah, this one's this one messed you up here. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for us here in day one here in Oklahoma with Blue Stem Waterfowl. You know, I can't really say that when we left the house yesterday evening that had any expectations of shooting 100 birds today, but we showed up and Blue Stem showed out for us. We uh, ended up with 112 lesser Canada geese, shooting them from inside the spread, hiding in the socks. Um, you know, Hiding in the socks isn't always the best option, but when the conditions are right and you got a good wind and everything lines up and you can do it, man, it's some of the most fun that you can have shooting them, especially these little geese, the way they work, come in in big groups. Um, they absolutely loved it this morning, and we shot them all close in the decoys, just the way you should draw it up. Absolutely textbook of a hunt. You know, it, it doesn't get a whole lot better than that, and that was a lot of fun. We appreciate all you guys watching. If you like what we're doing and enjoy these videos that we've been putting out, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell um, so you can get updated when we re release new stuff. Uh, we got a lot of this stuff coming. Um, it's still early, you know, and it's mid-November, and we're going to be going until about the end of February. So we got plenty of this stuff coming the rest of this season. Um, keep up with us, follow along, and we're going to try to take you with us on everything we do this year. But once again, thanks for watching.